Hey there everybody, welcome back to the third mission of Trapped. Last time we ran into a little bit of a situation with Rachel getting injured and meeting a master thief known as Ada. And the troubles are not going to stop in this mission at all. As you can tell, we're going to be facing nine different people. That's certainly a massive increase from the one or two we've been fighting before. And they, yet again, each have their own interesting story. Some of them seemingly actually worship the fiend that seeming that seems to have overtaken Alora. Others have their own little marital strife, I will say. Uh, it might be interesting if you want to read these over at your own leisure. I'm just kind of switching through them as quickly as possible, just to give you a general idea. We will be getting a full range, though, of archers, brigands, peasants, knights. Yep, this level will cover the entire gamut. But thankfully, the game will never actually make us fight more than two or three people at a time, so... You know, it's not like we're going to have to be fighting, you know, all nine of these people at once, so it's not that horrible. I will say, though, that uh, after the first and second stage, this one can definitely be a bit of a brick wall if you haven't got the trap system down yet. Thankfully, though, as we will be seeing, I managed to have a bit of dumb luck on my side with how I ended up setting up my traps. But there are seriously a lot of them. Some of them have interesting stories, like one of them was spousally abused, and that's always hilarious. But I think Philip is the last one, yep. Yeah. So, with that, without further ado, we already have all of our traps assigned, so I think it might as well be good to start the mission.相手は小娘。やるのは簡単だ。いいか。誰がやっても賞金は山分けだぞ。ただ、噂では魔人の手下がいて、恐ろしい方法で殺されるとか。怖いならとっとと帰るんだな。やるよ。俺もやる。いく
But the vase in particular has some very odd capabilities, as we'll be seeing here. Uh, its basic description is not that descriptive. It says that it will blind guys, but to use it properly you have to realize that whenever you hit someone with a vase, they'll continue walking in the direction they're facing. What I was hoping to do here, obviously, was to lead our brigand friend into the obelisk trap. But Douglas kind of beat him to the punch, being a big stupid lummox, and well, the obelisk trap takes a little bit of time to reset. So I was still kind of hoping that maybe I could trap one of them in the trap again. Maybe if I set the vase a little bit closer. Well, not that close. But needless to say, it didn't really work out as I planned. Especially having to keep in mind that you have to have them facing where you're wanting to go. So I got my face smashed in. And I finally decided, well, it's time to show off a few other traps. After getting stabbed in the tit. So let's go ahead and use our brand new iron ball. It's pretty much a direct upgrade from the Mega Rock in a number of different ways. We're also going to lay down a little bit of science here. I'm going to use a little bit of magnetism to use something that might not actually be... I seriously did not expect him to die. But we're actually going to use something that's not that obvious in that we can actually use the magnetic wall to attract the iron ball. Actually does a pretty good job of smashing guys repeatedly if you can set it up just right. And I suppose it's uh, somewhat poetic in the irony that he got crushed by an iron ball. Uh, but I decided maybe I wanted to set up a little bit of a more intricate trap to finish off our final victim here, Hannah. So I decided to pull out the new Thunder Jail floor trap. And we're going to set up the iron ball on the stairs as an incline, and finally, we're going to finish her off by smashing her off to the side. The problem, as we're going to be seeing, is that overall peasants do not have a lot of life, and the Thunder Jail does a lot more damage than one would expect. Which does work out because I totally forgot where I'd set the iron ball in the first place and I was about to smack myself in the face with it. This <laughs> その
早くしねえと横取りされちまうぜ王女抹殺か命令とはいえ気が済まんなだけどそんなことも言ってられないわ先行してる兵たちからの連絡もないしお前たちグダグダ言ってんじゃねえよ要は王女を殺せばいいだけのことを行くぞ仕方ない。アタリーナはいけすかないが食っていくためなんだね。許せなあめんじゃねえ So we now move on to the second group. I guess you could consider this the A squad. We just check out the rather shitty B squad. It's now time to set up a few more traps. And well, we're going to be using some of the ones that we actually just used. Hopefully, using them a little bit better.、A、bit of a spoiler alert. Things do not go as planned, but they never seemingly do in the world of Trapped. Just kind of trial and error, and error in trial. One of the things you do want to keep in mind is just how the pathing will work for these enemies. Sometimes they just do not want to hug a wall, and that's why just sometimes the magnet wall. Just is not really that good of a trap. But you can see one of the larger strengths of the iron ball. Being as it's more sturdy than the Mega Rock, it actually will last a little bit longer and actually have a little bit more momentum. But I am still pretty much a dead set right now on, for some reason, trying to trap them along the wall. But for Justin, being as he is a knight, he has a few more unwieldy defenses that we're gonna have to deal with. And one of those is. Well, for one thing, being able to easily dodge our Thunder Jail. Secondly, we are now going to have to deal with a rather nasty Fire Mage. As you can tell, they have the ability to ignite us, making us lose a little bit of control. And these two can definitely be a problem. I'm losing quite a bit of health. Thankfully, though, we have these healing pads that are in some of the rooms. We can actually use those up to two times. The first time will heal us up to full, second time will heal us about a quarter. So now that we've gotten back a lot of our life, let's use. Let's see if we can't use this rising floor instead of the thunder jail to get our point across. Certainly did work on Justin, but sadly we kind of caught him on the edge. So we need to do something with Vaglumo. Side of Hunger, that being such an awful, awful name. Yeah, you can tell he's got quite a few nasty little tricks up his sleeve. <laughs> so now it finally struck me that, well, riding the wall is not really going to be the best course of action. So it's just a little shift of our traps, and I think we should be easily able to take care of the Glumo. Thankfully, you can actually still set off your traps even while ignited.
And you can see the mighty power of momentum on my side. The iron ball is actually a really great trap to use. But all we have left to deal with is Sharon and... Being an archer, she's not really going to be that much of a problem, especially since we have plenty of time to set up whatever trap we want to. So I think that we might actually try to use the Thunder Jail again, since I don't think she has some kind of immunity to it. And we're also going to hopefully show off the Triple Arrow Wall Attack. It's pretty much like a normal arrow slit, except it hits three times. Sadly, I don't keep in mind that the fact that the arrows will not go through the Thunder Jail, so... Hmm. Let's see... Maybe we'll go with the Rising... Actually, no, the Smash Floor. Yeah, that's the ticket. No lobber straight into that damn arrow trap. As soon as we reposition her. Yeah, the triple arrow is a pretty good trap. <laughs> Well, that can't be good. Finnegan is seemingly here with his own little death squad. But maybe Allure is powerful enough to harness the Fiend's magic? It's kind of hard to say right now. Needless to say, we have done a number of awful things to these poor, poor, money-grubbing sons of bitches. Flattened, shocked, burned, smashed. And I think probably the most interesting one that I really didn't even notice was probably what we're going to be seeing for Philip. Instead of porcupine, that's a pretty good er, adjective. Yeah, he's a he was apparently killed by the candlestick, or candle stand. Never had that happen before. But yep, yeah, hopefully you'll join me next time for the next exciting update of Trapped.